Hello, this is uh, the explanation video of how to integrate Intelligent Raspberry and Science with Gazebo and Argus. So the first thing that you must do is to go to uh, Park Robotics. And here is the Real Sense Gazebo plugin. You first need this uh, package inside your uh, packing workspace. That's the first thing that you need to do. When you load the, 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 pack, the package, you only need uh, to keep it here uh, on the source uh, folder. You know, uh, we did not modify anything. The next thing is to get the Intel RealSense uh, description. So for that, we go to the Intel ROS RealSense uh, folder on GitHub. And you can download all the packages, but I only took this one, the into the real sense to the description uh, by itself it, it won't work you have to do some modifications I will explain here which modifications I did are not much but you must know what are you doing so for the, um, this thing to work uh, it's organized first we need to understand how it's organized. We have here the launch files of all the Intel cameras. I'm only using the D435. We have the mesh files for the D435. Uh, this is the configuration of Arbis only. And here is the interesting part, the QRDF. So for this thing to work, let's see the launch file, what is what it's doing. Uh, it's a modified launch file, the, the final one, I will open the original one. I made some changes here, I think. Uh, no. Okay, yes. Uh, probably I, I changed it to the Rocket State Publisher, I really don't remember at all. But on, if you download this package from Pod Robotics, it has only the state publisher that is deprecated. You need to put the raw state publisher on the type. Um, here, uh, look at that. We are loading in a parameter and the robot description that is on the real sense URDF test, the 435 camera URDF cycle. So the liquid here is inside the, the test. Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, originally, let's see uh, the difference. Originally, is uh, I think is this was wrong. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's loading. Uh, from a base link, uh, the camera or the sensor, the 435. So uh, the next thing we need to check is here on the URDF of, of, of uh, the sacro file that is called in, called in here, the 435. And here we can see that here is the camera, all uh, the configuration of the of all the links and joints that are used on the TF. The, the interesting part here is that you need to you need to have uh, the sacro file from Gazebo, this one, and it must be included. Uh, as a file here on the top, I think I 
remove the materials from the block because I don't need it. I just only need the, the, the view of the or the feel of the camera. Let's see. Yes, uh, I remove the materials. And if you want it, uh, you can put it. You can put it, uh, and I remove the 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 plug. I include the the gazebo part for the plugin because here is not. So you need to include the the D four three five gazebo plugin. Here is all the necessary package. I, I mean, uh, configuration for uh, Gazebo to work with the Intel RealSense. Also, from the uh, RealSense Gazebo plugin, when we make using Captain, we will get a, uh, on the development folder this, this plugin that is necessary to use in, in, in Gazebo and Arbis. So for the next thing, uh, let's continue explaining the the URL. So the, this is for our um, you need to include the the sacrifice from Gazebo and also put the the the, uh, the call the Gazebo the four thirty five from the Intel Ross RealSense camera. So with that. Uh, you are ready and the model will launch. So we'll, I prepare uh, another launch file for you with Arbis and Gazebo. So here we have the model uh, as an argument. So we have this, uh, the sacro from the, the 435 camera. We load also the robot description with the, with the that's, some, that's also not necessary because we are not adding the plug. That's our, there are other uh, parameters for the input of the sacro file. So uh, that, that are not necessary. You can quit it. Uh, we also launched the node of the robot state publisher or publish the, the, the states of the robot. And also we launched here Gazebo. Finally, we also launched Arbis with the URDF and the software. So, as you see, it's pretty simple, but uh, it's a little bit tricky because you have to analyze the URDF of the uh, Intel ROS RealSense. I only did the D435 uh, configuration. You have to do the other ones, the 415, the T265, and others. So if you want to test multiple cameras on the D435, you can also check here and so on. But basically it's that. So for launch the application, you need to make that key. To do that key make on your ROS workspace. After that, you can do ROS launch and real sense to description uh, view the 435 model Arby's Casio launch. This will launch the application. I pre-configure to you the view of the of the Arby's so you can see the point cloud here when I put an object. Let's put an object. Mm, let's put an square and change the dimensions. And another object just to see if we can see another object. Let's see. Okay, let's see on on Arby's what we are looking here. You see, here is the Intel Ross RealSense. Uh, the, I mean, the RealSense camera. Uh, here are the point clouds. Uh, we here have the the depth image. 
So for this thing to work, let's see here. Let's okay, the important things here are here. Okay, for the point class, you have to you will have a topic name points. You have to select it if you want to see the point class. And also, if you uh, you have uh, to point to the camera and see the the image of the the raw image or the depth image or the infrared image. Let's say infrared image. Here it is. Uh, another important thing is that if you load all this, uh, usually you get uh, I think a sim factor of 0.5. If you do that, you will see this. That's not an error. That's because in the transformation or the or in the cycle we also refer to the center. So if you do if you do computer vision or something like that, you will see only this image. That's what the plugin is seeing. This just this is just the visualization of, of Arbis or how is it displaying the image. So that's I that's why I put here 1.8 just to see cleanly the point cloud the I mean the the different images. So let's see here with that. And here we have the point cloud. You can play with the configuration or the parameters. Uh, you can check also how to put it on your in your robot. So I mean that's a uh, recite to you to get uh, started with the Intel uh, uh, camera and also the point cloud on your application or your robot uh, model. Uh, that's that's all. Thanks for watching.